James Webb. Space Telescope strikes again, this time taking us on a journey to the farthest reaches of our Milky Way galaxy. With its powerful eyes, NASA's Webb has ventured into what is known as the Extreme Outer Galaxy, a region over 58,000 light years away from the galactic center. This remote part of our galaxy is a cosmic treasure trove, filled with secrets about how stars are born and evolve in environments vastly different from our own cosmic neighborhood. In this video, we'll dive deep into these incredible new observations, the groundbreaking science behind them, and why they are so crucial to our understanding of the universe. Webb has provided an unprecedented view of two regions in the extreme outer galaxy, known as Digel Clouds 1 and 2. These are massive molecular clouds that serve as stellar nurseries, where new stars are actively forming. What makes these regions particularly intriguing is their composition. Unlike the star-forming regions closer to the galactic center, which are rich in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, the Dijel clouds consist mainly of hydrogen and helium, with very few heavier elements. This low-metallicity environment is similar to what we believe characterized the early Milky Way, making these clouds a unique laboratory for studying star formation under conditions that differ greatly from those closer to Earth. Using its near-infrared camera, NERCAM, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, Webb has captured high-resolution images of these clouds, revealing the detailed structure of these star-forming regions. The telescope's powerful instruments have allowed astronomers to identify young stars in the earliest stages of development, known as Class Zero protostars. These protostars are essentially cosmic infants, still surrounded by thick clouds of gas and dust that will eventually form planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. One of the most striking observations is the detection of outflows and jets of material being ejected from these young stars. These jets are critical for understanding how stars shed excess angular momentum during their formation, a process that significantly impacts their growth and evolution. The images show these jets shooting out in multiple directions, creating a visual spectacle that resembles a cosmic fireworks display. Mike Ressler of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who led the observing program, described it as looking like a firecracker, with jets exploding in every direction. This vivid imagery highlights the dynamic and active nature of star formation in Digel Clouds 1 and 2. Additionally, Webb's observations have confirmed the existence of a subcluster of stars in Digel Cloud 2S, a feature that was previously only suspected. The discovery of this subcluster is crucial for understanding the complex dynamics within star forming regions. The extreme outer galaxy offers a unique environment for studying star formation distinct from the metal-rich regions where most of our current star formation theories have been tested. In the inner parts of the Milky Way, stars typically form in environments that are abundant in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. These elements, known as metals in astronomical terms, play a crucial role in the cooling processes that allow gas to collapse and form stars. However, the Dijel clouds are relatively poor in these heavy elements, making them similar to dwarf galaxies, or the early stages of our own galaxy. Webb has enabled astronomers to examine the chemical composition and physical conditions in the Dijel clouds in greater detail than ever before. In metal-rich environments, dust grains, which are tiny, solid particles made of heavier elements, are essential for cooling the gas allowing it to collapse more efficiently to form stars. However, in low-metallicity environments like the extreme outer galaxy, the absence of these cooling agents means that star formation could proceed more slowly or follow different processes. This data is helping astronomers test these theories by providing insights into star formation rates, the mass distribution of stars within clusters, and the formation of circumstellar disks which are disks of gas and dust surrounding young stars that can eventually give rise to planets. 
One of the intriguing findings from the extreme outer galaxy is that circumstellar disks seem to have shorter lifetimes compared to those in metal-rich environments. This raises important questions. Why do these disks dissipate more quickly? Is it purely due to the lack of dust and cooling agents? Or are other dynamic processes at play? Scientists believe that the shorter lifetimes of circumstellar disks in low-metallicity environments are likely due to faster evaporation rates, caused by intense radiation from nearby stars. Additionally, the lack of dust and metals may hinder the disk's ability to cool and stabilize, leading to quicker dissipation. The discoveries made by Webb in the extreme outer galaxy are just the beginning. Astronomers are already planning future observations to delve deeper into these regions and answer some of the mysteries that have emerged. One of the key areas of interest is the chemical complexity of these regions. Despite the low metallicity, Webb has detected complex organic molecules in the extreme outer galaxy. These molecules, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, are considered building blocks of more complex organic compounds and are fundamental to the chemistry of life. Another exciting avenue for future research is to study the kinematics of the jets detected in Cloud 2S. Understanding how these jets interact with their surroundings can provide insights into the processes that regulate star formation and the growth of young stars. This, in turn, could help astronomers understand the broader dynamics of star clusters and how they evolve over time. Finally, these findings have broader implications for the search for life beyond Earth. The detection of complex organic molecules in such distant regions suggests that prebiotic chemistry could potentially occur in a variety of environments, not just in the relatively metal-rich regions we are more familiar with. This expands the habitable zone concept and encourages scientists to look for life in more diverse and unexpected places. As we continue to explore these distant outposts of our galaxy, we are not just learning about the stars. We are learning about our own origins and the vast, interconnected tapestry of the cosmos. And who knows? The answers we find in the extreme outer galaxy may one day help us answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Stay tuned, because the journey of discovery has only just begun. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Webb's latest discoveries in the extreme outer galaxy. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates on the wonders of our universe. Keep looking up, and we'll see you next time.